The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. I say this a lot, but like Jerry Stahl, who's like one of my idols, said, if you had the nerve to live what you lived, you should have the nerve to write it. I'm a comic, and my mom thinks people look up to me. My mom, I used to smoke meth, so if people look up to me, that's a problem. And I really kind of opened up a vein and bled out on the page. Who would have thought someone would have married a crazy like me, but uh, they did. For the first time in my life, I took full responsibility for myself. And I also realized no one was going to take care of me. My whole life, I wanted to be taken care of. And I lost everything. Please welcome comedian and author of My Fair Junkie, Amy Dresner, to the show. And Following your journey, I can say it's pretty powerful watching that. What's it been like for you opening up so much about everything you've been through? I think a way that I deal with my own shame is to sort of own it and put it out there. And when you do that, I was getting a lot of letters from people and saying, thank you for your honesty. Like, I thought I was the only one, or I felt so alone, or I felt so ashamed. And so that made me feel like I was doing something good with something that bad that had happened to me. Um, and as having been a comic, you know, it's all sort of autobiographical stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of natural to me. Um, and maybe, I don't know, maybe I just blew out my shame filter. It sounds like you went from kind of one addiction to the next, to the next sort of, sort of transfer of yeah. addictions. But is it, is it safe to say now you're, you're kind of yeah, clean, I'd, sober free? Oh yeah, I'm four and a half years clean. Um, <laughs> You know, I drink a lot of yerba mate, which is some weird caffeinated <laughs> tea, right? Um, uh, during a breakup, I started smoking, and then I'm vaping again, whatever, nicotine. I'm like, okay with that. Um, but everything else, nothing. I don't touch any of that. I don't go on Tinder. I'm not sleeping with 25-year-olds or mm -hmm. doing anything creepy. And, uh, you know, I don't... Uh, yeah, drugs and alcohol are not part of my life. Can you touch upon what you just alluded to, which is people can get clean, and then something will happen in life. You mentioned a breakup and that leading to the potential to relapse. Oh, but God. you didn't. No. But, tell, yeah, tell so, so what so, was different this time? So I thought he was the love of my life and mm. he was sort of the happy ending of my book. And uh, he broke up with me in uh, March or April of this year. Mm. And I just felt gutted. I mean, nothing is like heartbreak, it's just the worst. Mm. And um, I, I really felt like. I, I, I picked up drugs and alcohol before, and it never fixes the problem. It always makes it worse. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, let's do what normal people do. Feel the feelings. What a concept. And I cried and cried and cried, and my neighbors could hear me crying, and I lost so much weight. People were like, are you OK? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it passed. What's giving your strength now? I mean, through? you know, several different addictions and relapses, but now you went through the breakup and you were able to weather the storm. Where do you get your strength? Well, I mean, you know, I go to meetings, I have a sponsor. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, the book has been amazing. It's only been out a month, and I get messages every day from people just like, thank you, like, mm. I understand addiction better, or, you know, thank you for being so real and raw, and, you know, it's like, really, if I can get sober, anyone can get sober. <laughs> And my dad said something really moving. Um, he said, you know, all of my anger and my sadness about this 20-year battle has gone away because I see now why it all happened. It happened so you could write the book, so you could help people. Mm. And there's no higher calling than helping people. You also just said, if I can get sober, anyone can. And I think Great. that's one of the things we've try been trying to impress upon our audience is that anyone can slip into addiction but also yeah, anyone can potentially do exactly what you did, which is reverse course. And I love that you're inspiring people to do the same. Amy's book is called My Fair Junkie. It's mm -hmm. available now wherever books are sold. Keep up the great work.